Isotam and unboxing Revive Phoenix 10 Friction. So on the box it basically front it shows the bay and the Phoenix Winder talking about how it um, the second burst or their pipe armor giving the lay the parts and the back is showing talking about the, what the layer does, how long the winder is, and that's pretty much it for the box. Now there is a chance to get a black version, I believe one in 72 I think. So let's see if I got the black version. Okay. So I just got the same one. It's not really a big deal because I would have just sold it, so so, and then here I got the, uh, the my bay logger insert, so I notice I have the um, code, but I'm going to give it to Kevo, so I'm not going to show it in the video. So here we got just the stickers, and for the main thing is the bay So here's the layer, by Phoenix layer. It looks kind of nice. I think it looks better for stickers, but right now it looks pretty cool. It feels really weak. Like the uh, locking mechanism is weak. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be, or maybe I just put the bait together. So it should be normal. I think I don't know. So this 10, this is actually a good disc for like stamina combos, so I definitely use this in a few combos. And then the driver friction, so it looks really interesting. And this is palm, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's palm. So I'm going to put it together. I have to lock it in first and then put it together. Okay, so the tightness of the armor seems seems like it would get knocked up really easily. Maybe it's just not, I don't know. Now it feels really tight. So I guess like the first click, the armor comes off, and then the teeth feel like, they feel really solid. So that's really good teeth, so. I'm gonna put the stickers on it and then I'll show the way after the stickers. Okay, so I put these stickers on and it looks pretty good at the stickers now. On the Phoenix armor, I have the stickers so I can put the way together. I'm probably putting it together wrong. I have all the instructions, so. So here's the Phoenix winder. I think it's pretty much exactly the same as the and the one just the color is different. I'm not completely sure about that. But it's gonna be the wine is longer. So I have the original white one here. They look the same. I'm guessing the gears might be a little different because of uh, later molds, but it's pretty much the winder or the launcher. Now this is the actual winder. I'm gonna have to straighten it out, but I got the long window here, and let me see if it's longer. It is a little bit longer at the end there. Not much longer, but I think it, if I can't straighten it, I'll still use this because I think the handle feels a lot better than the Phoenix handle, just doesn't feel very good, so. Kind of feels or sounds really quiet. Cause it's normal, I guess. I have to launch some more of it.
felt like the armor should have came off, but it didn't. stamina but one click and I guess it's no click so final battle <laughs> so that's it for my unboxing and review of Revive Phoenix um, hopefully after using it some more I'll probably get better with it and understand it a little bit better um, yeah it's a really it's actually interesting um, Really interesting bay, and I'll be doing some more battles on it later. If there's any bay you want me to battle it with, tell me in the comments. And thanks for watching.